Hi everyone, welcome back to Galen IAS Botany Optional Classes. In this session, we are discussing a previous year question from 2017 Indian Forest Service Mains exam. And the question is from the Unit 1 of Paper 1. Distinguish between lytic and lysogenic cycles. Explain briefly the steps of multiplication process of T4 bacteriophage by lytic cycle. So, this is a 10 mark question. Maximum you get two sides to address this question and this question is having two parts the first uh, part which demanding the differences between lighting and isogenic cycle and the other part demanding the steps of multiplication of t4 bacterial phage so firstly you have to write a brief intro about lighting and isogenic cycle And when it comes to the body part, the first part which demanding the differences between lytic and lysogenic cycle. If the question is demanding the differences between any two cycles, better represent those differences in a tabular form. So here the question demanding the differences between lytic and lysogenic cycle. So you have to mention at least four to five differences between lytic and lysogenic cycle. First one is the viral genome. In lytic cycle, the viral genome does not integrate with the host cell. Viral genome does not integrate with host cell and in lysogenic cycle here the viral genome is integrated with the host cell and the integration of the viral genome and the host cell we call it as prophage so here integration of integration of viral genome and bacterial genome The next difference is the in lytic cycle it hijacks the machinery of the host cell hijacks machinery of the host cell here host cell machinery is slightly disturbed in lysogenic cycle Here in lytic cycle, the newly formed phages or the newly formed virions are virulent. And in lysogenic cycle, it is non virulent. And cell lysis, which occurs in lytic cycle, and here the cell. Lysis is does not occur in lysogenic cycle. So we have mentioned the differences between lighting and lysogenic cycle. So we address the first part. Next part which demanding the steps needed for the multiplication of T4 bacteriophage the steps of multiplication of t4 bacteriophage mainly the t4 bacteriophage multiply in five different steps first one is the attachment second is penetration third is biosynthesis fourth is maturation And the last is release. So you have to describe briefly these five different stages of T4 bacteriophage. The first one is the attachment of bacteriophage. So in attachment of bacteriophage or the first step of bacteriophage, the viral 
virus is getting attached to the host cell. Here we are discussing the multiplication of T4 bacteriophage. So here the host cell is the bacteria. So this virus, bacteriophage, and here it is the host cell. The attachment of this bacteriophage with the host cell, what we call as the attachment, and this phage, which having an attachment site, phage having an attachment site and the host cell which having a receptor site. So the attachment site of the phage come in contact with the receptor site of the host cell and thereby the attachment of the phage with the host cell is carried out. So after attachment next is the penetration. Penetration means the viral genome is get transferred to the host cell by the penetration process. So here this is the host cell and attachment is carried out and this is the genome of the virus. This genome is get integrated or this genome is get transferred into the bacterial cell and thus process what we called as the penetration. For this, the tail region of the feeds having lysozyme and this lysozyme will lyses the bacterial cell wall and from the head region of this feeds, on the head region of the feeds, it having the viral genome. This viral genome is get transferred to the host cell through the tail core and through the plasma membrane, it enters into the cytoplasm of the host cell. Once the feed, uh, feed genome is transferred into the cytoplasm of the host cell, it undergoes the biosynthesis process. Once the phage DNA introduced into the cytoplasm, it undergoes the biosynthesis process by using the host cell machinery. And once this phage DNA get introduced in the cytoplasm, it uses the cellular machinery of the host cell. First, it disrupts the DNA of the host cell and later the transcription and translation which occurs in the host cell which is responsible for the uh, viral proteins that are needed for the multiplication of uh, bacteriophage. So here multiplication of phage which occurs in the host cell by using the cellular machinery of the host cell. For the transcription and translation of this phage protein, it uses the cellular machineries, the ribosomes, amino acids and the enzymes which are used for translation are the cellular components of the host cell. So using the cellular components of the host cell, the translation of the phage particles are carried out inside the host cell. So this, this is a bacteriophage. So this bacteriophage which having an head region and it having a tail region. So this head and tail region which are assembled separately inside the host cell by using the different protein subunits. And once the phage DNA and the tail is assembled, the maturation process is carried out. So the head region is get integrated with the DNA and the tail is attached to the head region. So it becomes a mature period and the assembly of the head and tail region which represents the maturation phase of T4 bacteriophage. So in the maturation phase, the assembly of the head and tail region occurs. So during the biosynthesis process, the multiplication of the phage DNA occurs inside the host cell and here the assembly of the uh, capsid region and the tail region which occurs separately. Once the capsid and the DNA is assembled, this tail region is get attached to the head region and once the head and tail region assembled, it becomes a mature virion. So 
this mature the reagents are capable of infecting new cells and the last is the release so th this mature virions will have to release out to infecting other cells so on the release process so here this is the bacterial cell and the newly formed bacteriophages which are inside the host cell and this phages have the ability to produce lysozyme which are encoded by the phage genes and this lysozyme is produced as a result of life lysozyme is produced cell lysis is occurs and through the cell lysis this phages are releases out and this releases virions which are capable of infecting other cells so this is the multiplication process of bacteriophage so we have addressed the first part that is the difference between lysoge uh, lighting and lysogenic cycle and the other part which is the steps for the multiplication of t4 bacteriophage so we have addressed both the part of the question stay tuned on our channel for further updates related botany option thank you for watching